Hey, Buenos días. Hello. Hola. Buenas hello. tardes. Hello, hello, children. Hello, coordinator Irene. Hello. Hola. How are you today? Hi. How are you today? Fine. Excellent. Okay. Just let me check audio, children. Just let me check the audio because. Uh, Okay, children, I already mute your microphones, okay? But you can hear me, right? You can hear me. Yes? Excellent. Very, very good, children. So how are you today? Fine? I'm very happy to see you. I'm very, very happy to see you today again uh, to work in our, in today's session, okay? But uh, before we start our session today, before we start our session today, so let's pray first. Can you hear me? Yes? Can you hear me? Yes? Okay, excellent. So to start our session, let's pray in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. Let's adore him. Our Father, who are in heaven, hallowed be the name. The kingdom come, the will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Saint Jean Baptiste LaSalle, pray for us. Leave Jesus in our hearts forever. I will continue all oh my God doing all my actions for your love. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Excellent. Very good, children. So, uh, in today's session, in today's session, uh, you will learn about two words or two expressions, okay? It's and it's, okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to share with you uh, your Oxford Discover book. So please go and take your Oxford Discover student book on page 123, please. Open it. Open your book on page 123, and I'm going to share the screen with you. Okay. Can you see the, can you see the, the, the chart, the grammar chart? Yes, on screen, excellent. Okay, so um, uh, let me check who can help me. I need a volunteer. Okay, Mariana, Mariana, can you help me to read, please? Let, don't let me open your microphone. Okay, Mariana, please. It is a posi possessive. Possessive. Adjective, it comes before a noun and tell us who or what the noun belongs to. The tuba 
is in the brass family. It, its pitch is lower than a trumpet's pitch. Its pitch, the tuba pitch. It is a contraction, it's. It is. The flute is in the woodwind family. It's a small instrument. Many people get it and it's mixed up. Be careful. It's a small instrument. It is a small instrument. Very good, Mariana. Thank you. Now, Okay, excellent. I already closed your microphones. And now, children, I'm going to share with you a PowerPoint presentation about this topic. It's and it's, okay? Some people get confused. Some people get confused with these two words, it's and it's. Why? They get confused because they sound the same. If you say the words, both words sounds the same. It's, it's, they sound the same, but they have a different meaning, okay? They have a different meaning. So let's see uh, the difference. Today, I want you to learn, uh, what, uh, what is the difference between the two expressions? So just let me move this here, okay? And I'm going to share with you the presentation. Okay, pay attention. Okay. I want all your attention here, children. So here you have both expressions. You have both or both words. You have it's with no apostrophe and it's with an apostrophe. What is the difference? Okay, it's with no apostrophe is a possessive adjective, okay? It's with no apostrophe is a possessive adjective. Look at the example. I have a cat. Its name is Kitty, okay? The cat's name is Kitty, okay? That's why you're using it's with no apostrophe because it's a possessive adjective and it's with an apostrophe is a contraction. Do you remember the contractions? Do you remember the contractions that we saw in class? Right? Okay. Well, it's is a contraction. Okay? Look at the example. The flute is new. It's a small instrument. Or you can say, the flute is new. It is a small instrument, okay? It's is the contraction of it is, okay? So it's and it is is the same, okay? Uh, the difference is that it's is a contraction, is a short form, and it is is a long form. Okay, but you can use it as well. You can use both expressions, it's or it is. Okay, so this is the most important of, of this, of, of today's topic. This is the most important um, grammar uh, that you need to understand and, 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 and memorize children. It's with no apostrophe is a possessive adjective. It's with an apostrophe is a contraction. Okay, now 
Can you see the other presentation? Yes? Excellent. Now here you have uh, another example. It's with no apostrophe is a possessive adjective and comes before a noun. This is very important. If you have a noun in a sentence, if you have a noun, you're going to use it's with no apostrophe because it's a possessive adjective. Look at the example. I like to play the piano. I love its sound. Sound is a noun. And it's is a, is a possessive adjective. So remember that it's always comes before the noun, okay? It's as a possessive adjective always comes before the noun, like in the example, okay? In this case, the word sound is a noun, it's a noun. So you're saying that you love the sound of the piano. You love the sound of the piano. Okay, the sound is the piano sound. That's why you're saying, I love its sound. And in here in this other um, slide, I'm showing, I'm showing you more examples using it's, okay? So maybe, Emiliano, can you read the first one, please? This is my favorite restaurant. Its food is delicious. Very good, Emiliano, thank you. So children, as you can see, food is a noun. That's why you're using it's before, before the noun. And you're using it's with no apostrophe, okay? And we have uh, many other examples. For, uh, okay, uh, Alejandra Adame, please. The next one, Alejandra. My cat, read the sentence, please. The second one. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm have, I, wait. The second one, Alejandra, please. My cat. Okay. Just, I'm having problems with the audio. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to read it. Don't worry. My cat is drinking its milk. Milk is a noun. So you place its before the noun. It's milk. Okay? It's the cat's milk. This is my car. Its windows are clean. Its windows are clean. Okay, windows is a noun and you use it's before the noun, okay? Because are the car's windows. My dog is playing with its toy. Toy is a noun. That's why you're using it's before the noun. It's with no apostrophe, okay? Because it's the dog's toy. It's toy. The car's windows, it's windows. The cat's milk, it's milk. The restaurant's food, it's food. Okay? Excellent. I'm just checking the audio. Can you hear me, right? You're listening to me? Yes? Good. Okay, so let's continue. Here in this other slide, I'm showing you some nouns that you're going to use in your student book, okay? So the nouns are pitch, uh, 
uh, name, sound, is, and neck. What is pitch? The pitch refers to the sound. Pitch, pitch means the tone of the instrument, the sound of the instrument, okay? But the word pitch is a noun. The na name, well, name, it's a name like Adriana, like Emiliano, like Luis, okay? Name. Sound, well, it's the sound of an instrument the sound of a, a, a motorcycle, the sound of a car. Keys, the keys are these uh, small long parts that you use to play the piano, the keys to play. And neck, but in this, in this example, the neck is referring to the instrument's neck, not the boy's neck. The neck is referring to the instrument neck, the erhu's neck, because the erhu's neck is very long. The erhu's neck is very long. Okay? Excellent. And now this is the, the, the last slide. Uh, when, you're go when are you going to use it with an apostrophe? You're going to use it with an apostrophe as a contraction, okay? It's is the same as it is, okay? So, it's is a contraction or a short form. And I am here I'm showing I'm showing you four examples. For example, it's time to start the meeting. Oh, you can say it is time to start the meeting. Okay? The first sentence is with the contraction. And in the second sentence, you're using the, the long form. Okay, you can say it's, or you can say it is. The other one, question, how is your new class? It's great, I love it. It is great, I love it. Okay, in the first answer, you're using a contraction. And in the second one, you're using the long form. Now here, I have a dog, it's, it's playing in the park. I have a dog, it is playing in the park, okay? It's the same, in the first sentence you're using a contraction and in the second sentence you're using the, the long form, it is. This house is dirty, it's very old. This house is dirty. It is very old, okay? It's the same. You're using the contraction in the first sentence and you're using the long form in the other sentence. Okay, children? I hope you, I hope you understood, okay? But I think that when you practice in the student book, you, you, you're going to understand more this, this topic. So, Right now, I want you to take your student book again. Take your student book again on page 123. Let me share the screen with you. Here. And we're going to the activity. Okay, can you see the activity? Yes? Excellent. Okay. Uh, Hania, can you read the, the instruction, Hania, please? Yes. Read the sentence, circle, it's, or it's. Excellent, Hania, thank you. Okay, so you have to read the sentences and you have to choose the correct expression or the correct word. You need to, to choose if the correct answer is it's with an apostrophe or it's with no apostrophe. So, just let me, okay. So, 
Just let me show you something. Let me show you something before you start with the answers. Uh, I'm going to point to the, to the nouns. For example, here you have a noun name. Uh, sound is a noun, for example, okay? Keys is a noun. Okay, so right now, let's complete this activity. For example, number one, I have a pet turtle. What is the correct expression? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna help you with this, but the, try to answer by yourself in your book. Try to answer by yourself in your book, okay? So, I have a pet turtle. You have, you have a noun. So remember that when you have a noun, you use it's with no apostrophe, okay? Number two, I love that violin. It's a beautiful instrument. Okay, here you don't have a noun. You have an adjective, beautiful. So the correct answer is it's with an apostrophe. Okay, good. In the other, in the other, uh, in the other part of the sentence, you don't have a noun. So you're going to use it's with an apostrophe, okay? Number three, the didgeridoo is not easy to play, but it's sound, okay, sound. It's sound is very interesting. Sound is a noun. So you're going to use it's with no apostrophe, because sound is a noun. Number four, listen to this instrument. It's a piano, okay. Here, you're going to use it's with apostrophe, because you don't have a noun here. Listen to this instrument, it's a piano. Now, its keys are black and white. Keys. Keys is a noun. So the correct expression is its with no apostrophe. Okay? Good, children. So now you may close your student book. And now open your workbook, please. Open your workbook on page 112. Let me share with you the screen. Here. Just give me a few seconds to, to fix this. Yes, okay, we're going to the war book. We're going to the war book page 112. Okay. Can you see the activity? Can you see it? Show me with your finger, yes, excellent. Good, okay. Um, Luis, Luis, can you read the instruction, Luis, please? Complete the sentence with it's or it's. Okay, so you have to complete the sentences using it's with an apostrophe, 
or it's with no apostrophe. Just take a look at this. That is very important. Look. Uh, here you have a noun. Neck is a noun. Sound is a noun. Name is a noun, okay? So I, I will give you a few, a few minutes so you can answer, do it. Go ahead. I, I will give you three minutes so you can complete the activity. Do it. Choose the correct answer. It's with apostrophe or it's with no apostrophe. Remember children, remember what you saw in the presentation. When you have a noun, when you have a noun, you use it's with no apostrophe, okay? It's with no apostrophe comes before the noun. It comes before the noun, okay? You have to remember that, you have to remember that. Okay, let's, let's take a look. You're done? Okay, Emiliano, excellent, excellent. Let's give another one, one more minute to your, to your classmates so they can finish. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, Marcelo, Marcelo. Marcelo, can you give me the answer for number two, Marcelo? Tell me. Uh, with, just, just tell me, Marcelo, with apostrophe or without, without apostrophe? Uh, without. Okay, let me check. No, look, the correct answer is, let me show you. A tuba, look Marcelo, and everybody, look. A tuba is a brass instrument. Made, made is a noun. Made, the word made is a noun, Marcelo? No, okay. If, is, if it's not a noun, what expression are you going to use? It's with apostrophe or it's with no apostrophe? With apostrophe. Exactly, Marcelo. Very good. So the answer here. I'm sorry. It's made of brass. Okay, with apostrophe. Okay. Uh, thank you, Marcelo. Okay, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, can you read number three? Look at the book. Okay. The other part, Jacqueline says, is shaped like an hourglass. Uh, an hourglass is like a sand clock, a sand clock. So, Jacqueline, the word shape is a noun? Look at the word shape. It's a noun? No. What is the correct answer, Jacqueline? It's with apostrophe or it's with no apostrophe? With apostrophe. Correct. With an apostrophe. It's with an apostrophe. Thank you. Okay, the children, uh, because of the time, I need to hurry, I need to hurry. Okay, just one, one, one more person. Uh, Maximiliano. Number three, I mean, number four, number four, Emiliano. The air who has two strings. The word neck is a noun, so the correct answer is? 
It's, it's with apostrophe or with no apostrophe? With no apostrophe. A correct. Very good, Maximiliano. Correct. Okay. Number five. I play cello. I love, I love, and the word is sound. The word sound is a noun with no apostrophe. Number five. Number six. The dark buka is a drum. The dark buka is a drum. Play with the fingers. Play is not a noun. So the correct answer is it's with an apostrophe. So I'm going to show you the correct answers. Oh, sorry. Okay, there you have the correct answers. Check with your answers. Okay, children? Excellent, children. It's time to finish the session. So remember to take a picture of, the, of this activity and send it to me by mail. Okay, children? Love you very much and see you next Tuesday. Bye. See you. Bye. See you, see you, bye. Bye, love you, bye.